Let's see, have I checked out a streamer that does build videos? Nope. I actually will totally admit, I don't pay attention to anybody's stuff. Uh, I don't have enough time to watch other YouTubers ever. And, like, I could totally look up, like, other YouTubers and how, how they did things. Or I could just spend my time doing it myself. I know that sounds kind of, like, weirdly, um, asinine or whatever, but it's just, like, I put out, like, eight videos a day. Some days. Sometimes more. Like, this sort of thing, uh... I just don't have time. Also, just realized, gotta sc not scrap these. We want to store them. I know I can build a little bit. Well, no, 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 no. Hold on. I can build higher out past this point, so we can actually build up a bit. I should figure that out. Okay. Well, for the time being, let's just keep filling this all out here. Uh, where's this ceiling? Wall top. There we go. I hope somebody has a mod that also makes the the Vault 88 brighter by default. Like, I don't mind it too much, but it's still kind of annoying. Let's see, the cone trim. What? What does even the cone trim mean? No idea. Alright, whatever. Okay, let's just fill these things out. Why? You were in the right spot! Now I can't reach you. Okay, there we go. Nope, I can't. Okay, there we go. It was totally in the right spot! You guys saw it. Okay. So yeah, I can probably keep going at least another... One more after this. Yeah, I can probably do one more. We've got all these, like, lights on the scaffolding, but I don't really care about them. I'm curious about if this is going to make everything dimmer as a result. That's a bit of a concern. Corner trim. Oh. Maybe? Oh. Where's corner trim? That's trim. It's somewhere here. There it is. Put the... There we go. Yeah. Wow. Getting this thing to snap properly is some kind of nightmare. Okay, there we go. Surface snap. That's what I was looking for. Okay. Uh... So... What is... Oh, it just failed to snap right. Wow, snapping. Snapping is so bizarre and so wonky. It's weird. It's weird how, like, bizarrely poorly done some of this is. Alright, whatever. Um, Is this just the generic ceiling one? It is. Does it fit? Oh, of course it won't. Well, I could do something like this. Look a little bit bad. It's also a little bit low. And over. So let's store that for a bit. Oh, right. We want to just do some more of these. So we can probably fit one more. Let's try two more. And then let's try fitting, not the ceiling, atrium end. Right there. It's got a little bit of stone in it, but that's okay. 
Alternatively, it actually goes out a little bit farther than I wanted it to. Well, that's okay. I guess you can just loop around once you leave. Does this work with ceilings? Or floors? Or walls? Okay, good. You can still get you can still get floors in here. So that works at the very least, and then we can just have it turn. And then have a doorway here. And then a wall. Where's wall? Mid wall. There we go. Okay. It almost works. I think almost works is is a legitimate uh, legitimately okay thing. This is fine. Um mostly. I'm still super cranky about this like weird half block thing. Cuz I haven't I haven't found a half wall yet. And like if there was a half wall, all would be forgiven, but there's no half wall. So uh, All right, whatever. Uh let's keep doing staircases. You know, but what was that witch magic? Well, we'll have it going up here. That way it's offset from the staircase and we can keep working on this. Uh, you know, I, I said I was going to work on like getting resources and stuff for this place. Apparently not. Kind of suck at that part. At least we can get water generators wherever the heck we feel like. Oh no. Oh, that was bad. I picked up the whole structure. Made everything lag. That was not a good thing. Okay, we'll be fine. Uh... Realistically, we probably need to get um... ceilings. In what? The hell. Okay. Uh, question. Can I actually do a second atrium? Can I, do, can I do a second atrium here? Try and doing F2. Did that work? Actually, it looks kind of okay. Like, it still has that dumb missing segment that makes no freaking sense to me. But it works. I mean, like, if we could fit that in or something. It just needs a block that fits in there. And it totally feels like there, there should be one or something. Not the corner mids. Though they do snap to the location. They don't... It's not what I'm looking for. I mean, I could just try and cram shit in there and call it close enough. Oh. Well, how do you do? So you can just completely ignore it if you've got uh, Place Anywhere mod running. I guess it'll take. It's, oh, balls. Except for right, oh, no, 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 no. This is actually, this is okay. I can make this work. We can just go, this one? Corner top, not corner top. Wall top. There we go. Problem solved. Okay, so it looks a little gar garbagey, but it's functional. And that's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm still pissed about it. Why did they think this was a good idea? I don't know. I, I have no idea. I'm still a little bit speechless on it, but... I have a workaround, and that's all I care about. Where's the, where's the, where's the basic mid-wall? There it is. I do wish they had some different colored... Versions of these, maybe. That'd be kind of nice. Oh. Oh, right, because it's got to be sideways. <laughs> From a thing, doesn't it? There we go. Not perfect, and there's a rock in the way, but still. We've got, we've got all we need. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, so what do we want? We want this. And we want to fill this in. So it's working. It's slow. It's very slow. But we are actually getting a very functional... Uh, very... Relatively nice looking... Vault thing. Like, let's, let's look at this. Like, this actually looks like something somebody would live in. Honestly, I'm probably actually gonna... I, I'm probably actually gonna change my whole setup at some point. We should figure out where the center is and put Vault Girl. See, is that snap surface off? Okay, that actually, well, it's useful. It actually made a weird noise when I put put her down. That is really strange. Okay, but yeah, no, that that looks nice. We'll have to we'll have to line uh We'll have to line lights all over the place so this place actually looks nice. Uh, but this, this is fine. This works. Still gonna take a while to get everything working and running and whatnot. I'm gonna throw the robot workbench there. I have not seen Packbot Beta in, like, hours? How do you put power throughout the vault? That is an interesting question I don't have an answer for. We'll find out shortly. Okay. Um, you know, we're going to need our crafting benches, so I'm going to start slapping those down. Like, let's actually start getting some of the things we need. I have no idea what a 2LM workbench is. What do you guys need? Intuitive design. What? Okay, so we're gonna get that. What about ammunition? That needs gun nut. Chemistry. What is intuitive designs? I have no idea. I'm gonna slap this down. We're gonna move this out of the way. This fits way better in this corner than the other one ever would. Also, I just realized... Oh, wait, no, that's just the garbage coming through. Well, that's fine. Okay, so let's hook these up. Let's see if I can craft the uh, utility. Mass harvester. Oh, I need rank 2 science. Okay, let's go get that. Okay, so we want to do level up. And we want to go down. We've got robotics expert 1, but we need another level in science. Okay, now we can make it. Utility, mass harvester, and junk vacuum. Oh. <gasps> the junk vacuum is something completely different that I didn't realize what it would do. Um. So, there's actually two things. I always thought the mass har harvester... Shut up! I don't care about that! I Don't... Dump... I don't care. I don't want to favorite something. Just go away. Just go away, you goddamn tutorial nonsense. There we go. Thank you. I... That is... Freaking annoying. Okay. Uh, so let's do your special. Oh, I see. I gotta drop it, and then I gotta use it. There we go. And I'm gonna put a point into... Actually, we've already got strength down. I could do endurance. Charisma. Let's do intelligence. We're gonna need it anyway. Okay, so what do we got there? We already got perk chart. Uh, right, we're gonna do... Settings. Survival quick save. No... Collection tools, there we go. So this is the one I, I want. So what this does is there's a separate item called Junk Vacuum that will just suck up all junk in the area. That should mean, like, just broken stuff. Let's find Cadence. Collect, collect, build junk forms. Okay. Okay, let's quit that. 
build, forms building for the first time. So what they should do is actually just collect all all of that like scrappable junk on the ground around on my like around on the floor, which should work great. Well, while that works, let's fix this part of the ceiling. Uh, so we want to do DLC, Vault Tech, Vault Domestic Utility. Atrium, here we go. Okay, so the junk vacuum should work. I'll have to go test it out later. Probably by uh, just wandering around and seeing what I, I suck up. Because if it, if it does actually suck up stuff for me, that's perfect. There we go. Ah, oh, come on. I jumped in everything and it's like, yeah, no, this is green. And then I get up there, and it's like, nope, screw you. Okay, so it's got some dumb collision issues, but at least I'll take it. Uh, at least it's fine. Okay, um... Okay, cool. So, now what I can do is have, like, a super farm. Your I... Like, what I'm probably gonna do is set up a, a super farm in one corner of... In one corner of this, somewhere along the way. Um, and I'm not sure where yet, because it's really dim and kind of grungy in here. Like, I like it, but I also just do not like how, how, um, how dim it is in this place. I'll see if I can get the, the mod. Rolling. At least the, the vault tech, um, are you serious? At least the vault tech, uh, or the atrium... Walls and stuff is very uh, it's very cheap to make. I mean, I've got like thousands of steel, and it's mostly it's mostly steel and rubber, so I can just slap this stuff down pretty much as much as I want forever, which is really really encouraging. And the nice thing is, I might have actually found a good alternative to Northland diggers. It's more expensive, but um. I'll have to I'll have to check with him shortly, but I I think I can actually get unlimited resources now in the form of um, in the form of shipments, which could be really useful. Look at you. Okay. Two centuries, and your skin's as smooth as a baby. I want to trade a few things. You know. Things are looking up. I can feel it this time. Okay, let's sleep for 24 hours. I think we already left the area, didn't we? It's an underground vault, not a sunny living room. True, but I'm in a basement and my basement ain't this hazy. Like, I kind of wish I could get rid of the atmospheric haze in here. Because it's a little weird. At least I think it is. Okay. Well, let's see if we can actually... He is currently not here. Oh, that's probably because it's in the middle of the night. Ain't it? Okay, let's go for like seven hours. It'll be nighttime. And then we'll be... Good, I think? Yeah, the reason why I couldn't buy from him probably was because... Stuff wasn't set up properly. Yeah, we'll have to figure out some kind of proper... Sleeping chambers on one end of this room. Or in, like, a side passage. I'm just not sure if I want to do that sort of thing, because it would make me feel a little bit skeezy. I don't know, I want my people to live in not absolute abject squalor. I'm not a total terrible person. Just most of the time. Okay. Also, I, I totally could have just done this with, uh... With... Overlord dude, but at the same time, I do kind of enjoy I do kind of enjoy starting a new character having a different lore and mythos and you know style it works It pisses me off just a little bit that they didn't bother to design this This chamber better so it would fit all of the atrium parts that I'm throwing at it like 
they really should have known that people would have immediately started building an atrium in here. And they're like, okay! And then made it so, like, there's just a little bit of crap showing through, and I know I could build around it and stuff, but still. Uh, let's see, make an emporium. It should work with a, a representative. I don't have the resources for an emporium, sadly. Actually, I might, come to think of it. Let's see, let's see if we got the money, because I forgot I, I cheated up a t ton of... ...resources. Okay, Trader Emporium, you are correct. Okay, so Vault Tech Rep goes to the correct one. Scrap that. He should be good. Okay. Well, let's, let's keep organizing this for at least a little while. Let's see. I had somebody say something really weird to me earlier today. I know every once in a while I have to relay like a dumb comment that somebody sent my way. Uh, let's see, is it even worth building settlement shops or no? Really depends what you're going for. Uh, if you're doing what I'm doing, hell yeah. If you're not doing what I'm doing, no. I think I'll just go with the, the square design here. Like, uh, what's a, what's a good example? Um, okay. I feel really bad about this one, but, um, I have a lot of people saying, like, you know, please remember me when you're, like, a huge YouTuber and stuff like that. Um, I always feel, like, super bad whenever anybody asks me, like, will you remember me when you're huge? And the answer is yes, I actually do remember a number of people. Like, I don't even know if, um, I don't even know if he still watches me, but I actually remember my very first... I'm gonna call him real fan. There, there were two of them. One guy I know for sure doesn't watch me anymore, and the other one I assume he doesn't. He doesn't comment, and he hasn't commented for years. Um, it was David B. Um, the guy was really nice, like super nice. Like I actually felt really bad that I, I couldn't like do more to kind of interact with the guy because he was such a nice guy. Um, but uh. He would watch practically every video I do and write, like, a paragraph. Um, more or less just discussing what I had talked about in the episode. And it was just the nicest thing. As a small YouTuber, like, that is, that is one of the things that you absolutely want to come across. Is a person that's, like, that dedicated to your content. And eventually he actually stopped coming by and it was super sad because, you know... It's nice having somebody that that's that's that dedicated. And I very very distinctly, um, I very very distinctly remember him, and will probably remember him for years to come, even though ultimately, you know, he has since moved on from my channel. Um, and then the other guy, whose name I actually don't remember as well, but I could easily go find it. Um, uh, but he was around more. He usually would be a little bit harsher on me if I was, like, doing something stupid, or I said something stupid, or... Generally on my reviews and stuff. But I think, uh... I think he stopped watching me because I was too scatterbrained or something. I don't even remember. You always remember your first. I mean, it's true. It's a hell of a lot easier to remember, um... It's a lot easier to remember fans, specifically, that were there in the beginning, or they're, like, so consistently you can't help but remember them. I actually remember a fair amount of people. Surprisingly. Um, but, like, the bigger I grow on YouTube, the harder it's going to be for me to remember every person. I always feel super guilty about that, because, like, what can you do about that? The answer is nothing. There's really nothing I can do. Because uh, I've gone from... At the start of the year, I had 13,000 people uh, subscribe to my channel, and I'm fairly certain I'm within a couple hours of hitting 40k tonight, which I'm super stoked for. Um... And, like, Twitch is much slower, so it's a little bit easier. Um, but, like, the reason why I specifically bring this up is because it was actually a YouTube comment from somebody I had never heard of, or seen a comment from before. Um, and I was like, uh, 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 who are you? I felt so bad! I really did! I was like, oh no, what do I do here? Like, how do you respond to that? I don't know! 
it, I still don't know. Um, I just felt so guilty. Because there's nothing. This is a bad remix. Alright, whatever. I really wish you could almost, like, combine here or something. I don't know. This is weird. Oh! I have 40,004 subscribers. Never mind. Wow. I just, I just did it. I, my channel's been growing faster and I don't know why. And I'd say it concerns me, but it really doesn't. It's awesome. Um, but it's one of those where it's hard, it's hard for me to keep track of. And sometimes it gets past me and I'm like, oh, hi. You're, you're here too soon. And I didn't expect that. Okay. Oh, I know, I know how I can do this. I could, I could do one of these doors. Actually, yeah, that'll work. Still looks kind of garbagey, but I'll do it. Put that there, because that looks real nice. They really did not uh, do a whole lot of work making everything look as like smooth as it could be. I'm going to back out of this. See how this corner tile has this like little thing that attaches there? And how this one doesn't? Maybe I have to use the... Um, Maybe I have to use this. Nope. Wow, that is poorly done. That is really bad. That's really strange. Alright, whatever. Okay, so we want to do these tiles. There we go. But no, I, I don't know. There's just that guilt. And it always... I think it will always get to me. Of, like, I don't care about my subscribers enough and stuff like that. And, like, it's totally true. Like, there are a lot of YouTubers that will respond to every comment and every... Every tweet and everything like that. And I just... I don't think I could ever do that sort of thing. Um... I don't know if I... Like I said, I feel really guilty about it. Um, but from my perspective, any... Any moment I could spend, like... Pouring through the many comments that I get, uh, or res or you know working with Twitter or doing things with fans, I could also spend recording like right now. Um, and I, I think to me that ends up being more valuable in a way. Like I would I would much rather spend my time creating as much content as possible for people to watch than I would going wildly out of my way for everyone. And I, I, I still feel super guilty about this sort of thing, because it's just like, you know, I don't I don't want people to feel neglected. But at the same time, it's also one of those where if, like, you establish too much of a uh, uh, consistency with that sort of thing, it also becomes really hard to wean people off of it. And people will get kind of weird and needy. Make it comment videos. Yeah, I guess that's not a bad idea. There's a number of th things that could be done. The problem is, like, a comment... <laughs> comment video, I'd almost have to read the weird things. Okay, this is... Okay, there we go. It fits. We need to get these dumb columns in. Okay, water merch. I do need to get merch. I've been putting any kind of merch off for ages, mostly out of laziness. Uh, looks like I actually need to stow these. Well, this is frustrating. I guess I can just stow these. It'll make it easier to rebuild and go from here. This is annoying. Choose to read certain types of comments. I mean, you guys... <sighs> The sad thing is there's no easy way to read comments on YouTube. Like, you guys think it's pretty easy. You go to, like, a, a, a video or whatever. My per, uh, From my perspective, I put out 10 videos a day. Uh, to read any specific video's worth of comments, I either have to keep, like... I have to watch my comments page like a hound, or I have to, um... Or I have to, like, click on each video individually and read every comment, and it's just like, I don't have time for that, I never have time for that, and I feel so bad. I really do, and it's just like, I don't, I don't know what to do, I, I'm just gonna deal with it. Uh, the problem is, like, YouTube really hasn't cleaned up its interface at all. Check the re representative, yeah, I should do that. Uh, let me, let me get this last section done. 
before we move on. I'm, I'm trying to alternate between building this monstrosity of a of a chamber and um, uh, and managing that sort of thing. Okay. Oh, we already got the pillars on, so we just need the floors and whatnot. Let's see, how many videos will I make out of this stream? Um, if I were to warrant a guess, five hours, half an hour to 45 minutes per episode on average. Let's see about 37. Eight? I'd say about eight. Maybe more. I mean, it really depends on how much more uh, Fallout I end up playing tonight, too. Because, uh, admittedly, I've actually been going for five hours straight now. And, to some degree, I should probably stop. 